So today in this video, we're going to be working with the described angle. Make sure that this definition and the drawing that I'm going to do over here um, is on your vocabulary document. It says that an inscribed, an inscribed angle is an angle with a vertex on the circle and two sides are chords. So I have here a central angle, right? Because we know that the central angle, the vertex is on the center. Now my inscribed angle is going to have the vertex, and let's call that one C, on the circle. So that means that angle right here, angle A, C, B is an inscribed angle. As you can see, both sides, so C, A, and C, B are chords. I wanted to draw it right here so you can see that this angle, the inscribed angle, is actually smaller than the central angle. Right? So in that case, the angle, an inscribed angle, and again, copy this on your um, vocabulary document, an inscribed angle is half the arc it intersects. So that means that angle from this information, that means that the measure of angle A, C, B, so it's this angle in here, is one half of the arc A, B. By the way, the symbol for arc is this symbol right there. Okay. So let's rewrite this with the measure in front. So it's one half of the measure, the measure of A, arc A, B. Okay. So that means that using this same formula, we can multiply them on both sides. So that means that the arc, so the measure of the arc, is going to be twice the measure of the angle. You can see a couple of exercises. Again, I have my arc angle here, right? The important part is that this is side MN, side ML. That means that it's intersecting the arc NL right here. The angle, so the measure of that angle, let's call it angle L M N equals to one half of one oh eight. So that means that I'm divided one oh eight by two is fifty-four degrees. Number two, again. This is the angle. This is my angle right here, so it's intersecting this arc. So that means that the measure of angle KJL equals to one half of 114. And that equals to 57 degrees. By the way, this document is document for your homework also. So you have to write, have exercise one through six on your homework and then um, do the other exercise. Here. I need to start finding this information. We know that the entire circle around, right? so we need to find this information. The entire circle around is 360 degrees. So I'm gonna start by subtracting 360 minus 110 minus 54. So again, 360, 360 minus 110 minus 54. And that's gonna give me that this angle here is one, this arc here is 196. So that means that the measure of arc CXY equals to one half of 196, and that's going to give you 98 degrees. So, number four, again, I'm going to do the same 360 minus 121 minus 139. That's going to give me that this arc is 100, and that means that the measure of the angle MKL equals to one half of 100. And that's going to give you 50 degrees. Okay, let's do this with a little bit of algebra. Again, this angle right here is the 4x plus 15. So 4x plus 15 equals to the arc that it intersects. That is this one here. So 1 half of 110. So 4x plus 15 goes to 55. Then I'm going to subtract the 15 on both sides. So 4x equals to 40, and then divide by 4, so x equals to 10 degrees. And number 6, 
again, this arc is half this angle, sorry, this angle is half the arc, so 9x equals to 1 half of 90, so 9x equals to 45, and divide by 9, so x equals to 5 degrees. And that's it for this video. May the force be with you.